Vibration and Bearing Condition Detector. I'm Kevin, Technical Director of KM Company. Today, we introduce Vibling Multifunctional Vibration and Bearing Stage Detector. Vibling Wu is a very advanced troubleshooting tool. It has the functions of vibration detection, bearing condition detection, and infrared temperature measurement. Weibling Wu instrument case design is very reasonable. Weibling Wu accessories introduction. Weibling Wu vibration acceleration sensor. The magnetic seat is connected with the sensor. Bob the device to the position that can be absorbed. Symbol. Hold the position on the device that is not absorbed well. Touch the symbol lightly. Connect cables to vibration sensors. Connect the sensors to the mainframe. Charger. The instrument can be used for 50 hours on a single charge. Introduction to instrument operation. From left to right, the top interface of Weibling Wu host is BNC vibration acceleration sensor interface charging port. Infrared laser point, infrared temperature sensor. Before the Weibling Wu host can, the sensor needs to be connected to the host. Vibration acceleration sensor cable. Vibration acceleration sensor. Screw the sensor onto the cable. Align the protruding position of the sensor with the notch on the cable. Insert and tighten the sensor. The other end of the sensor is connected with a magnetic seat or thimble. field equipment can be absorbed. Use a magnetic holder, otherwise use a thimble. Connect the magnetic seat to the sensor. Connect the BNC port on the other end of the cable to the host. Insert. Once connected, you can start field testing. Start the machine before testing. Press cell to start the machine. The page displayed after power on is the vibration measurement page. There are three physical quantities in vibration measurement. The unit mm as displayed. First is the speed value. Press the cell key to switch to displacement. Its unit is up. Press cell again. It will switch to acceleration. The unit is G. Instrument built in ISO 10816-3. Equipment vibration level standard. This is when the velocity is in unit according to the motor. Nameplate before testing. Select the right type. On the back of the instrument, there are four kinds of equipment to choose from according to the motor. Nameplate before testing. Select the appropriate device power and shaft type of the motor and the type of equipment base. The foundation is rigid or flexible. Click the vibration measurement screen. Displace ISO R2. This R is the rigid base. F is the flexible foundation. Choose R if the base is rigid. Select this if the device type is second or fourth. If it is other, press cell to switch. You can switch to ISO R2 or whatever. If this is the type, press the vibration measurement button again. At this time, the vibration can sensor. be absorbed to the device for detection. After the measurement, the vibration value appears. After the numbers come out, press the vibration measurement button again. Click on it and if go appears. It means that the vibration of the equipment is normal. If there's a bell, it's the yellow alarm of the device. Two bells for red alarm. This is the vibration measurement interface. The second is infrared temperature remesuter function. Press the infrared temperature function infrared button. Infrared laser spots appear on the instrument. A red dot. The effective distance tested was 200-250 Distance from the measured bearing. Press cell to switch degrees. 
Celsius and Fahrenheit. Degrees Celsius was chosen for routine testing. The actual measured temperature is shown above. The current ambient temperature is shown Press below. Press the infrared temperature function button. A hold can be made for the temperature tested at the Press time. Press again to release hold. This is the temperature measurement the third function. Is the bearing state detection function. Press the bearing status detection function key. The bearing status has two values, BG and BV. The BG value is the high frequency acceleration value. The BV value is the high frequency velocity value in mm. S. Press the cell key to switch. The unit is G. The high frequency acceleration value needs to be selected according to the speed of the equipment. Built in bearing state experience value alarm switch according to the actual speed of the equipment. RPM can be selected to be less than 500. Less than 1000. Choose from several levels. Select the current speed suitable for the equipment. If the equipment is 3000, that's going to be less than 5000. After the selection is completed, press the bearing status check key. Exit the current hold interface. The sensor is absorbed on the bearing for detection. Check the keyboard according to the bearing state. If it shows a goal, then bearing is normal. If a bell appears, it is the bearing reaches the yellow alarm. Two bells for bearing red warning. Press the bearing status button again to exit. Switch the cell key. Enter the BV value detection mode. A value of BV less than E indicates a normal bearing condition. If the value is greater than E and less than R, it is the poor lubrication of bearings or the early failure of bearings. Value greater than R is the tested fault of bearings. The above three functions are the detection function of the Wave Wu instrument. After the test, press cell and any key. Press both buttons at the same time to shut down. Thank you for your watch.